What is good YouTube? It's your boy Xavier Ashton, aka Ashton Royale, back here again with another video. So now with fitteds coming back in style, and I say that very loosely because fitteds never went out of style. It was just a time where snapbacks and dad hats were the go-to hats, but fitteds never went out of style, man. Let's just be honest. What I would say is we have to get some recognition to Hat Club because everybody was copping fitteds before. But now the hype with cop and fitteds is getting a fitted with a patch and a colored underbrim. So this actually is going to be my second video on the topic of curving your brim. My first video I did with the new era Fear of God hats. I did the baseball curving method. Um, some people said it worked for them. Some people said it didn't. Uh, so this method that I have here is going to be so much easier. Um, all you need are some rubber bands. And as you can see, I copped mine from Staples. But make sure you cop the right rubber bands because there's one above this. That's like two times the width of this one. and It's thicker and it actually crushed the crown of a hat before. So this one, as you can see, if you're getting this from Staples, let that focus, is a number 64. The measurements is a three and a half by one fourth, uh, eight by nine centimeters, and then 0 0.6 centimeters. So those are the measurements. Um, if you're copying them from Staples, once again, it is number 64. These rubber bands are perfect for curving brims. So now starting with step one, for me, is taking off these stickers, cause um, I'm just not a fan of these stickers. Uh, take this one off too. Um, if you like to keep the size on, that's on you. I'm really not a fan of keeping the size on, so I'm taking this one off too. Um, but it's just giving me like a hard time. That's just a personal thing. I just feel like it gives the hat more of a clean look, but like I said, it's personal. So step two is acknowledging the curve that the hat is gonna give once you put it on your head. As you can see right now, it has a slight curve. It's molding to my head. Um, I got these braids, so it's kind of molding with these braids also. But as you can see, I already have a slight curve. So now this is what I have to work with because it's kind of molded to the shape of my head. So now that we're on step three, we're gonna start curving this up because we acknowledge the natural curve that it gave on our head. So as you guys can see the different panels because of the stitching, you wanna take your hands, you wanna cuff them with the brim and take your fingers and keep them on that last panel. And you just wanna curve slightly right here. You wanna take your fingertips right here and you just wanna bend this. You just wanna start bending this so it kind of forms as slight, a slight curve. You just wanna get a slight curve in there. So do that back and forth. And then you just wanna do that until you see the hat actually give itself that natural curving brim. So now as you can see, we have some curvature in the brim. Let me show you guys the under brim. So now you wanna take your fingers, same thing, same concept, you want to put your hands in here, both sides, take your thumbs, put them on the outside and do the same thing to just establish the curve. The biggest rule is you want to stay away from the middle of the hat. You don't want your thumbs too high because once you bend the middle cardboard of this hat, it's going to look like a roof of a house. So as you guys can see, just by doing that, the hat already has like a nice little natural curve. Let me just put it on my head to show you guys what it's looking like right now. But I'm about to tell you guys, these rubber bands take this curve to a whole new level. So let me show you guys what to do. All right, so don't be scared. The first thing you got to do is take these two points, pinch them together, just like so. You want to take your first rubber band and you're going to want to put that right in the middle of where the hat meets the brim. So that's where your first rubber band goes. You want to take your second rubber band. And remember those panels that I was talking about earlier because of the stitching? You want to put your second rubber band on the first panel going down. So let me show you guys that real quick. And last but not least, your third rubber band. And the easiest way to remember the third rubber band is actually putting it on the third panel. So I'll just show you guys what this looks like with all the rubber bands on it right now. And as you can see, we have some curvature already on here. So now that you did the hardest part, the easiest part is to basically keep these rubber bands on the hat. Uh, I usually keep it on for like 12 hours. I'll do it in the morning, go to work, come back, take it off, put it on, and then just fit it. See if I got to curve it anymore to fit my head even better. But I mean, you really only got to keep this on, I say for like two to three hours. So, I mean, let's wait. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so now we're back. Let's review the final results of this. So let me just remove these three rubber bands real quick. Okay, so I wasn't playing when I said these rubber bands give you the perfect result. As you can see, perfect curvature in the brim, show you the under brim. Now for some people, this is too curved. So final step, just put your hat on and wear it for the rest of the day. 
and see how you like it. If it fits or not to your liking, you just unbend or bend even more. So like for me, I feel like this is just perfect for me. Um, some people kind of want to take some more out. So all you have to do is just bend this up a little bit. But for me, I feel like this is just perfect, to be honest. I'm telling you, man, these rubber bands, they do justice for real. And then I'll show you guys what the cap looks on backwards because I know a lot of you wear your caps backwards and you still got that perfectly bended brim. Perfect results. So we're now coming to the end of the video. If this method helped you guys out, please don't forget to smack the head. I like button down below and drop a comment down below. Tell me if it worked. If it didn't work for you, let me know why it didn't work. Um, if you guys like the baseball method better, I feel like this method is better because you really don't have to do anything. You just follow the simple steps that I told you to do. And then these are the perfect results that you get. Also down below, let me know where you guys cop your fitteds from. Uh, of course, the ones with the patches and the colored brims. I'm trying to get some more. So drop them websites down below. I already know about like Hat Club and if you just go to New Era, you could cop some. But I know there's some other websites out there that be selling some heat. So please let me know down below and for everybody else. Honestly, I just got to show you guys one more time, bro. You cannot tell me that is not the perfect way to curve these brims of these hats. You just get the perfect results and you don't even do anything really. So like always, thanks for watching you guys. Um, next video is probably gonna be a fair God drop to a review. I was able to get three things, only three things. Like I said, Pac Sun was a bloodbath. Essence is probably the way to go now, but it still sells out so fast. I still can't even get a tea, bro. I'm still waiting just to get another tea. It feels like it's like impossible, but that'll be the next video. Fear got dropped to review to, I'm guessing is what I'll just call it. But until then, it is your boy Ashton Royale and I'm signing out of here. Thank you guys so much really for rocking with your boy. Peace.